Southeast Georgia and the Low Country. This is WJCL 22 Morning News. See us now. An Effingham County Commissioner charged with sex crimes against children is allowed to keep his title and he may even show up to the next commissioner's meeting. His reaction to his arrest caught on video. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis officially running for president. The technical glitch during his announcement everyone is talking about this morning, including former President Donald Trump. Millions will travel this holiday weekend and it all starts today. What experts say you need to do right now. We want to thank you so much for waking up with us right here on WJCL 22. Good morning. I'm Emma Hamilton. And I'm Frank Solkowski, meteorologist Jonathan Myers here as always. And Jonathan's got an eye on the sky and keeping us updated on all the weather haps and a, a little bit of rain moving our way as well. Yeah, unfortunately, Frank is right about the time as we start the Memorial Day weekend. We'll see some rain today. A really nice day, though, for those outdoor activities. No problem getting anything in if you're doing some things outside today and you see these temperatures a little cool this morning. Maybe a light jacket 50s as we start the morning 66 at 9. We'll see mid upper 70s to near 80 where we'll top off our highs this morning. We'll start out mostly sunny, but by the afternoon we'll see increasing clouds probably later this afternoon even could become mostly cloudy, but keeping the rain out of the forecast for today by tonight may see a shower popping up along the coast as a low pressure system developing and for Friday and also Saturday impact weather day is coming up. Coastal low will develop and it'll be likely that it'll move up the coast, bringing us some gusty winds, also some high rip currents and also chances of rain too. I'll detail this and we'll talk more about that coastal low that'll bring us those gusty winds in less than 10 minutes. All right, thanks so much, Jonathan. We'll take a look at some of the aftermath in Guam after the most powerful typhoon it's seen in years slammed into the island. The Category 4 storm knocked out power to more than 50,000 homes yesterday. Well, right now, there are no reports of deaths or injuries. Parts of the island received more than two feet of rain as the storm's eye passed over. This morning, an Effingham County Commissioner charged with sex crimes against children is out on bond. 84-year-old Reginald Reggie Loper still holds his title as commissioner, and he could even be at the next meeting. WJCL 22's Greg Coy is walking us through the shocking arrests, the commissioner's reaction to the charges, and what's next. Don't my turn. Effingham County Commissioner Reginald Loper refusing to talk to GBI agents about the case and the charges against him. This video WJCL 22 investigates obtained through an open records request where the 84-year-old was brought to the Effingham County Sheriff's Office to be booked on charges of child molestation and sexual battery. Deputies pat him down like any other suspect for contraband or weapons after collecting his personal belongings like his wallet, watch, and wedding ring. Sheriff Jimmy McDuffie asked the GBI back in January to investigate Loper as he explains to deputies who he is. I'm ready to look for you. I've probably heard of him. I've been a commission for 19 years. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm from around here, but that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. We're doing this new, we're doing this new deal and all. We listened as Loper tells deputies that he attended a county commission meeting the night before. The very next day, Loper is sitting in a chair reading the warrants for his arrest. The booking process lasted a couple of hours. We watched the entire videos. The audio is hard to understand at times, but we hear Loper being polite and cordial as he goes out of the camera view and returns in his orange jail jumpsuit with handcuffs to get his booking photo. Perfect, right there. All right. Y'all want to look good. And again, that was our Greg Coy reporting. WJCL 22 News reached out to the chairman of the Effingham County Commission twice. We didn't get a response. This morning, professional basketball player and South Carolina native John Morant is safe after a string of cryptic social media posts made some fans very nervous. So much so that deputies, they were actually called out to perform a welfare check on him. According to TMZ, Morant posted pictures of himself with his mom, dad, and daughter before posting a picture with the caption, bye. Deputies say that Morant is taking a break now from social media. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is officially in the 2024 presidential race. DeSantis announced his bid for the White House live on Twitter alongside Elon Musk yesterday. But as Lindsey Watts reports, it didn't go as planned. 
Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' announcement on Twitter that he's running for president eventually became a discussion on policy and culture war issues. Common sense can no longer be an uncommon virtue. And in Florida, we proved it could be done. DeSantis didn't mention his chief Republican rival, former President Trump, but he took direct shots at President Joe Biden. Biden's pursued inflationary policies that are hurting working people. We will reverse those policies and we'll build an economy where working Americans can achieve a good standard of living. Plans for the announcement were initially derailed by massive technical glitches on Twitter's audio platform. For 21 minutes, the feed included silence and crackling audio. The site's owner, Elon Musk, who was hosting the event, could be heard saying so many people were logged in, Twitter's servers were melting. Yeah, look, we've got <laughs> a, just a massive number of people online. Some of DeSantis' opponents were quick to mock the technical difficulties. The Trump campaign labeled the launch Ron's disaster. President Biden tweeted the caption, this link works, leading people to his fundraising campaign. The Democratic National Committee writing in a statement, in true Ron DeSantis fashion, his presidential launch was quite literally not ready for prime time. But DeSantis voicing optimism, saying the number of listeners was an example of the enthusiasm around his campaign. We need the courage to lead and the strength to win. Now here's a look at the five Republican candidates that DeSantis will face, including former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley and State Senator Tim Scott. So far, only two candidates are challenging President Joe Biden for the Democratic nomination. Well, starting today, millions of people will be driving or maybe flying for the holiday weekend. And we want to hear from you this morning. How do you plan to travel or are you traveling? You can weigh in right now in our live interactive poll. All you got to do is scan the QR code right there on your screen or simply visit WJCL.com slash vote. Again, how are you traveling this, this weekend? Are you driving? Maybe taking to the skies and flying? All right, now we want to check in with WJCL 22's Nakaya Carrero. And Nakaya, talk to us about folks, what folks are going to see out there on the roadways this weekend. Well, Frank, I'm here on Highway 17 in Chatham County, and as you can see, not a lot of cars on the roadways right now, but Georgia AAA is saying that it's going to be completely different in just a little bit into this weekend. AAA in Georgia is expecting more than a million people to hit the roadways starting today. They're expecting they'll have to provide roadside assistance to nearly 500,000 people. A spokesperson tells me that's why it's it's so important to go ahead and get your car checked now. Uh, the most common reasons uh, that we get called for uh, stranded motorists is flat tires, dead batteries, as well as lockouts. So it's going to be very important that, you know, motorists make sure that their car again is road trip ready uh, before they hit the road. Montre waiters with AAA tells me if you do get stranded, pull as far over onto the side of the road as possible. Turn your hazard lights on and stay in your car. That's the safest way as you wait for roadside assistance. Back to you guys. Yep, certainly a great tip there, Nakaya. And with so many extra people expected to be on the road, did she say anything else about some other safety advice? Well, she did remind me that Georgia is a move over law state. Mm -hmm. So if you do see someone stranded on the side of the road, you should move over a lane and also to not drive distracted. Put that cell phone down, give someone else the responsibility of playing the songs in the car for the road trip. So make sure you are driving undistracted as possible. All right. Good advice as always. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Nakaya. Well, again, we want to hear from you this morning. How do you plan to travel this Memorial Day weekend? You're going to drive? You're going to fly? As you can see right now, most of you say you're, uh, you're going to get behind the wheel and drive to your destination. Again, vote throughout the morning. Simply scan that QR code or visit us and vote at WJCL.com slash vote. 
Traffic Track 22, the roadways this morning. No big problems if you're unsure. Some of you headed out the door for work and seeing a lot of green there. Highway 21 from Hunting Island all the way to Beaufort, Port Royal. It is quiet with no accidents. Also, no accidents from Hilton Head, uh, Highway 278, Bluffton. Also, all the way to Bluffton Parkway toward uh, Hardyville is seeing no problems. Also, in Chatham County, no big slowdowns except on I-16 this morning around the road construction that's going on. Seeing some little stop and go traffic there. But other than that, very light traffic as we start things off this morning. East Oglethorpe Highway at Coastal Highway in Midway this morning. Seeing a few cars out there as we kick off the morning. No big problems for that commute with dry roadways. Sunshine though, but sunglasses will be needed once the sun rises here so. a little more than 20 minutes. You Remember to keep it. up with traffic throughout the day. WJCL.com slash traffic for all the latest updates.